Now moving on to a story that has also captured the imagination and gained quite a bit of traction. The EFF is marching to Brackenfell High School in Cape Town today to protest against alleged racism. The allegations came to light after black students were excluded from what was seemingly a private matric farewell party with white students only. The city of Cape Town has granted the EFF a permit allowing 100 members to join the demonstration. Earlier this month, EFF supporters were confronted by parents outside the school, resulting in one arrest. And we cross now to our reporter, Vanessa Puna, who, has, who is at Brackenfell High School this morning. Vanessa, good morning. So uh, what's the situation this morning? Have the EFF protesters started arriving as yet? Yes, good morning to you. Uh, and we're standing here on the corner of Rockland and uh, Hudewip Street. Of course, this uh, is the street in which uh, the Brackenfell High School is located. Um, behind me, a flatbed a truck uh, with uh, loudspeakers has been set up. I'll step out of shot and I hope you can see that. That, of course, uh, just before the entrance to the school. Um, we understand from the EFF, the few members of them that have already arrived, that uh, that is indeed uh, their truck and their sound system and they are expected uh, to start gathering here outside the Brackenfell High School from 10 o'clock this morning. Um, Sakin, I can tell you uh, at the moment there are quite a number of traffic officials as well as law enforcement uh, uh, officials and vehicles um, cordoning off uh, the roads uh, surrounding the school uh, because uh, there has been uh, uh, some allegations that there may be uh, a violence uh, breaking out today uh, similar to that which we've seen uh, happening a couple of weeks ago uh, when the EFA first staged uh, their demonstrations their peaceful protest uh, outside the school. Uh, we know what happened there, of course, uh, uh, members of the community as well as parents and EFF members then came to blows. Um, uh, and, and that, of course, having sparked a Sakina quite um, a, 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 an outcry, really, uh, uh, allegations then further made uh, of racism at the school. Um, uh, past pupils have spoken out, uh, members of the community are saying it's absolute nonsense uh, because they are insisting uh, that the private uh, party was not arranged by the school, the school's governing body, as well as the Western Cape Education de uh, Department, have also been at pains to explain uh, that it was neither uh, 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 funded by the, by the school or the department uh, and uh, that uh, a matric party, uh, an official matric party, uh, was cancelled uh, early on due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, so what we know at this point in time uh, is that uh, members of the EFF, a hundred of them have been given permission by the city of Cape Town to protest outside the Brackenville High School today. Uh, but earlier this week, if I can just uh, throw back to that, uh, there were um, uh, also some altercations between police and members of the PAC. Uh, they came from the train station in Brackenfall, also tried to make their way uh, to the school. They were uh, pushed back by police who had warned them earlier uh, that they did not have a permit to march uh, and that they would not be allowed to get to the school. At the time, the PAC members telling us uh, that they were uh, there in solidarity with members of the EFF uh, who they say were brutalized on the day and also uh, then commit, committing themselves to attending uh, today's uh, protest by the EFF. Now, there have also been some uh, social media uh, information and banners going around that members of the Cape Party uh, will be here uh, to monitor and also members of the community now. The Education MEC, Debbie Schaefer, as well as the City of Cape Town, have made an appeal on residents as well as all parties to please remain calm and not to, to rather avoid this area, to avoid a conflict uh, which can arise uh, to violence and therefore and thereby uh, disrupting uh, the matric uh, physical science uh, paper one, which is scheduled to be written here at the school today. Which is going to be interesting to monitor, Vanessa, because the members of the Cape Party, as you say, were expected. Do they have a permit? Uh, residents in the area. What about uh, constitutional um, rights, you know, that have also been claimed in this regard, the right to protest, for example. Uh, but uh, just a quick one, Vanessa, with regard to the update on the arrest that was made after that first incident. Um, is there an update on that? And are there any further investigations afoot? 
Sakina, yes, uh, the arrest that was made uh, earlier and that, of course, uh, during that chaos that ensued outside the school uh, was a 39-year-old man who uh, subsequently appeared in the curls of a magistrate's court. He was released uh, on a warning and the charge uh, that he faces uh, is one of uh, the discharge of a firearm in a public space. Now, that case has been postponed until uh, the 25th of January uh, next year. Um, also, uh, interesting enough, you talk about human rights. The Human Rights Commission uh, have also appealed for everybody to keep a level head and also to work towards social cohesion, saying in a statement that uh, Section 17 of the Constitution does indeed uh, provide and guarantee uh, the, the rights of citizens to protest peacefully, but also then reminding uh, all of, of the parties that will be involved in today's uh, action here outside the school uh, that uh, those rights cannot supersede the rights, in this case, of matric pupils. Uh, many of them have had, uh, well, all of them really have had a very, very tough year uh, months of schooling missed to those who could not access uh, remote learning, for example, um, and uh, they've had a very tough time of, of trying to continue, or to continue schooling and to complete the curriculum, of course, in the middle of uh, matric exams now, uh, probably the most difficult year uh, that they would have faced. Um, and that, of course, is the appeal by, by all the parties, uh, education department, as well as the city of Cape Town, uh, the police, uh, who have said they are quite prepared to manage any uh, situation that may occur outside here today, as well as the Human Rights Commission uh, that are just ap appealing uh, for calm at this stage. But I can tell you, besides uh, the law enforcement, uh, as well as traffic services, uh, uh, some police officers, uh, as well as uh, just across the road, I see uh, there are quite a number of what looks like private security officers and a few members of the community, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, are gathered here uh, in anticipation, uh, Sakina, uh, of uh, the EFF protest uh, that will uh, is scheduled to take place at 12 o'clock. But we were told that members will start gathering at 10 a.m. this morning. Vanessa, no doubt we'll be catching up with you later on and uh, you'll keep us informed of any developments. But before you go... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Vanessa. Happy birthday to you. Have a fabulous one, Vanessa. Working hard. Thank keeping you us so updated. much, Leanne and Sakina. Happy Thank you birthday. so much. Such a pleasure. Happy, happy birthday to you. You see, you didn't well, sing. Reporters are also, also human. I, I didn't actually know I was on the shot. And you're doing such a good job. Ah, oh, Leanne. You know. Let's take a break whilst we clear this one. But I did. I added my voice. You heard me singing. We'll see you after this.